right guys, so we got another one and it's the W400. And you guys know how much I'm uh, a fan of laying a flat coat of sealer down because that's very important to the actual job coming out flat. So I seen this gun, I went to the local uh, paint store the other day to get some stuff for the Cutlass and this was on the shelf and the guy hooked me up with a decent deal on it. So I went ahead and picked it up and it's a W400 LVWBX. It's a primer gun and it's a sealer gun. So nice gun, 1.4 it came with and we're gonna try this one out tonight and see what it does. Cause you guys know I like that P30 sealer from Sherwin Williams and uh, I use an Iwata as it is now to seal with my WS400, my old clear gun. So we're gonna try out this one here in this video and see what we think of it. But it's definitely a nice looking gun. It kind of looks a lot like the Bellaria that I got, but it's not the Bellaria. It's just a W400 and it's for their new primer and sealer. So. It comes with a regulator in the box, and that's part of the kit with this gun, regulator and gun. No cup, so if any of you guys are using a cup still, you'll have to do something, or you'll have to get your adapter for your D-cups or your uh, PPS, whatever you're using. So let's try this gun out. All right, so here's the car we're gonna be sealing with that gun and trying it out. And this is one of them uh, grays that I did on one of them couple other vehicles that you guys seen in the last couple of videos. But we got a new cover, a repair down the side, and a gas lid for it. So this will be a good job to try this sealer out. And uh, who knows, we may actually clear it with it too. We'll clean it real good because I haven't used this gun at all. So it's gonna only have one job of sealer in it. But I wanna try it out for the sealer first and then I'll uh, use it maybe for the clear because you know the consistency of sealer is almost like a clear. It's thick and it'll break it up nice and smooth too. And a lot of you guys were uh, saying this gun works really good for clearing uh, single stage. So let's try it out. So it's all blown and tacked. And I always go over my jobs with my hand with a blow gun before I tack it. And then I tack it. So make sure you tack it well, make sure you blow it off good and get it real clean. That way you have a smooth and a clean foundation, not only a flat one because nobody wants a flat foundation with dirt in it. So blow it, tack it, clean it well. And now we're gonna go ahead and try this thing out for sealer. So that thing lays out a nice coat and it's definitely got a big fan and it breaks it up fine. So I'm gonna be looking forward to trying this out with the clear also, cause this thing looks like it's gonna be a really nice gun. But look at the size of this fan that this gun has. Look at the length on that fan. So that's a nice fan and I'm spraying it wide open right now. And I'm spraying it at about 20 PSI. So. We're gonna base this one out. And I don't know if I'll show you all that, but we're gonna get it back out for the clear and uh, try this new gun out. So stay tuned as I base it and then I'll bring you guys back in on for the clear coat. All right, so we're all based out. I got two coats on there and this is the Ultra 9 water base from Sherwin Williams. So this is that ceramic gray. And we're going to be trying out that uh, new gun for the clear two because I know it's got the same, you know, consistency as an actual clear coat being it's made for the sealer. And uh, just don't go and try any gun out though for your clear. Make sure you got at least a 1.4 for the uh, 
you know, fluid tip. Don't go any higher than that and try to clear with it because you'll have problems. I'm only trying this because I know it's a 1.4 and I know it'll work, but let's try it out. You guys see it, it looks like it's laying down a nice coat of uh, clear and it sprays a little bit more fluid than that Valeria I have. So that Valeria doesn't have that tulip head on it. This one's got that tulip cap. So I don't know if it's making a difference for that, but it's putting out a nice amount of clear with a beautiful big fan and a flat coat. And that's one coat of clear with the CC200. And it already looks slick, so we'll put one more on and we'll look at it all together, finished up. So we got another good gun for my WADA and it's definitely working really nice for the clear. I don't know, it might be better for clear than it is for the sealer, but it is made to be a sealer gun. So they make those guns to be able to put out a thick material, which is like the clear if you're spraying a higher solids clear. So it works really well with this clear that I'm using because this is a medium solids and uh, it's a little thicker than a low solid clear. It's almost like a high solid, but in between. So. You don't want to go spraying a real thin clear out of a gun like this because you'll be wasting more of it in the air than you'll actually be getting on the panel because it breaks it up so nice. But it's definitely a faster gun than the uh, Valeria is and it puts down a really nice coat with that 1.4. So if you guys are in the market for a new sealer gun and maybe even you guys want to use it for the clear, check out that uh, WS400 LV WBX sealer primer gun really nice gun and uh lays it down nice as you guys can see so give this one a thumbs up and i'll be seeing you guys on the next video see ya